Hey, it's me, Tommy. Number one, yes, I know you can see my microphone set up. This video is about recording audio. Two of my voice sounds a little bit different than normal. It's because I am sick. Trust, today is the following day and I sound much worse. I should have done a whole video like this though because I think I sound way cooler. But that's okay, because I can't get you sick through the screen, right? I don't think technology has progressed that far yet. So when I originally got the Mix Pre 3, I was really excited. I watched a lot of reviews and it just seemed like the next logical upgrade into my sound equipment. I've been using the Zoom H6 and while it was adequate, I never really liked it. The Mix Pre 3 seemed like it had a lot of great features, it had a lot of it had analog limiters. So whatever. I bought in, I bought one. This isn't a review about the Mix Pre 3. Now it got to my studio and I was really excited about it. I put in some AA batteries, the default power option for the Mix Pre 3, and they died really quick and I was like, oh man, I guess I put in some dead AA batteries. I'll just get some new ones. Opened up a fresh pack of AA's from Amazon, Amazon Basics, threw them in there and they died like super quick. And I was like, what is happening here? So I checked out the specs on uh, Sound Devices website. If you just throw AA alkaline batteries into the Mix Pre 3 with uh, whatever it comes with, which is the four battery tray, they will only last 27 minutes. That's what I was getting. They were dying in under half an hour. I mean, I wasn't even getting through like the opening of my video in that time. And so I was super disappointed because the reason I got the Mix Pre 3 is because I wanted to use it away from all of my computer equipment. Previously, I've been using my computer to power my Zoom H6 over USB so I wouldn't have to change the batteries all the time. I wanted to be more mobile with the Mix Pre 3 and this was kind of a big hurdle for me. I looked into my options and I watched Caleb Pike's video on his sound stand, which was ridiculous. He got a rolling stand and a Rode PSA1 boom arm and his setup is legit. It's a little bit heavy for me though. Also, I didn't want to get a USB battery pack. I wanted to have a way to power my Mix Pre 3 for an indeterminate amount of time and also still be kind of portable with it. I do eventually want to get into some commercial work and I want to be able to take it with me. So here's what I came up with. You get a heavy duty boom stand from Adorama, 50 bucks, and take whatever XLR microphone you're using, put it on there, and then attach that to your Mix Pre 3. Take a $25 quick release plate that I got off of eBay, attach that to the Mix Pre 3, and attach the other end to a super clamp. Then clamp that onto the boom stand, and then also get a gyro view, gyro, I don't, I don't remember what it's called. It's a V-mount battery plate with a D-tap out. And then the same company also sells a D-tap to USB-C adapter. Get that. Then you can use whatever V-mount batteries you already have, power the Mix Pre 3 over USB-C, and then pick it up and carry it with you wherever you wanna go. It's a super portable, lightweight option to power your Mix Pre 3 for as long as your V-Mount battery will live. Even the smallest V-Mount batteries, like this one, this little 45 watt hour one that like you can palm. Review coming on this pretty soon also, by the way. Uh, these will power you for like all day and compared to the cheapo alkaline batteries, I mean, this is almost a necessity. So that's what I'm gonna be using for my sound moving forward and let me know how it sounds. Does it sound pretty good? It should, it's going to the Mix Pre 3. So if you wanna build your sound stand exactly the way that I've built this one, I've put all the components that I used in the description of this video. Links will be going out to Adorama. If you use those links, it will help support my channel and I super appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one.